so good, hello! It seems like you have some fans here, I don't know. So welcome to Sweden, Demi. Thank you. Are you enjoying your visit? I am. Have you done any Swedish things? Do you know anything about Sweden? I have slept a lot. Oh, okay. So the beds are fine? So the beds are amazing. That's wonderful. That's the only thing that's good in Sweden, the beds. <laughs> the Swedish fans have asked you over a thousand questions on Facebook, so do you have time to answer a few of them? Yeah, not a thousand, but I do have time. <laughs> Uh, okay, from Frank Adam Hagman. How <laughs> Swedish Swedish names are so stela. How is it being Demi Lovato? It's pretty good. It's a pretty uh, interesting question, but it's it's pretty good being me. Yeah. You're performing and you're sleeping. That's like the dream life. Okay, Emily Jard, Mark says, Hi Demi, what do you know about Sweden before you came here? Well, I have been told a lot by um, some people that I've been working on this album with. Uh, one, of, um, one of my favorite people in the whole world, her name is Lale. She's, she's incredible. She's told me a bunch about, um, about this beautiful, beautiful city. And Max Martin is another person that I worked on this album with. He's incredible. So, I know that Toflo is from here. Yes, I love Toflo. So which song or your upcoming album are you most proud with and why? I think I'm most proud of... I'm, I'm proud of a bunch, but I think the, the, the song that I'm the most proud of um, might be a song called Father. And you wrote that with Lala, too. I did. Yes, I've done my research. Yeah, she actually, she said there's a few things that I look back on in my career, and she said, I think this is one of those songs that I'll look back at years and years and years from now, and it'll be, I feel like it's one of my greatest achievements. <laughs> What kind of song is it? It's like a ballad. It's a ballad. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. I love ballads. Uh, so Hanna Ulvan asks, how do you react when someone you lo oh she's here? Oh, hello, Hanna. Hello. <laughs> how do you react when someone you look up to says that they're a huge fan of yours? Um, it's a it's a huge honor when somebody says that. So I geek out a little bit for sure. Do you have any examples of someone? Um, I remember Kelly Clarkson, she, she said that she was a huge fan um, years ago and I nearly died. Yeah, and, and another time, one time Katy Perry like tweeted about Skyscraper and I just was like, I, didn't, I was so excited she knew who I was. So it was like back in the day um, when people started like taking notice of my music, it was really, really cool. Yeah. Wonderful. Would you would you consider coming to Sweden for your tour? Yes. Of course. I would absolutely love to. That's wonderful. Jasmine says, if you could have any other artists performing voice for a day, like Whitney, you oh, I love Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, <laughs> Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson, or Beyonce, whose voice would you pick and why? That's a little weird. I would yeah. have Whitney Houston. I would take Whitney Houston's yes, voice. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Be amazing. Yeah. Is everybody okay? I think she's hot. You okay? Yeah, take some water. Yeah. Oh, she fainted. Oh, I think she loves sweet news too. too. <laughs> She'll be fine. Bye, sweetheart. She'll be fine. That was her question, right? Yeah, maybe. We said her that was name. Her question. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. So Sandra, no, Jessica asks. If you have the opportunity to become become the president of the United States, oh, okay, don't you. faint. <laughs> if they'll just breathe, what would be the first thing you would like to focus on that you want to change, improve? Um, well, I would definitely in in my country um, we don't have proper like we don't have great comprehensive legislation on mental health care, so that would be the first thing I would take care of. For comprehensive legislative um, mental health care reform, so hopefully trying to make things different and get proper health care for them. Forget Kanye, Demi for president, right? <laughs> 
What advice do you have? This is a good one. What advice do you have to others to become more confident? Um, I don't know. The more that you love yourself, the easier it is to be confident. And the way that you can learn to love yourself is by taking care of yourself. So for me, I like I feel the best when I am um, in a good place with um, I don't know with a lot of things. You know, getting in the gym and feeling great physically, um, mentally, like taking care of myself. Um, you know, there's a bunch of things that you can do. I feel like if you, the, the sooner you learn to love yourself, the sooner you can feel confident. That's beautiful. Yes, an applause. Okay, now to my favorite question. This is mine. Do you have time to take a selfie with me and the audience? Mobile camera is really bad. Can I borrow someone's camera? Okay, everybody now. Are you ready? Oh. I took two. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to meet all of you. Yeah.